Yo, it's Sway. 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 In the morning. 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 Only on Shade 45. Wake your fuck ass up. Yeah. Bitches. Robert Guerrero right here with us here yes. on Sway in the Morning. Shade 4 5. For May 4th, he'll be fighting against the pound for pound best in the game right now, Floyd Mayweather, for the welterweight championship. Um, your wife is doing well right now, right? Yeah, she's been cancer free three years. She did the oh. bone marrow transplant, so uh, thank God. Thank she's God. Great. That's great, man. Thank That's God. great, man. Um, it's interesting when you hear about boxers and their stories, there's so much more to them than what you see that goes on in the ring. And all those things play a, a role. I remember when Mike Tyson was going through, you know, personal issues with uh, Robin Givens. Mm -hmm, and then, and then mm -hmm. he went to fight Buster Douglas over in Japan. And you could just see his mind wasn't into the fight. Right. And, and, and he ended up losing his championship, you know. Um, but in this case, you were able to use that to motivate you. Yeah, that guy was just... In the wrong place at the wrong time when I hit him. <laughs> yeah. Um, man, I you know, just going out there to fight, her wanted me to fight, and, and her being sick, I was just like, you know what? I can't come home beat up. Can't mm -hmm. come home damaged, so I'm just going to take this guy out, and I'm going to get it done quick. First shot I landed on him, he was out. Just like that, man. Yeah. That was a crazy fight, man. Robert Guerrero is joining us right now. We're going to take your calls, 888-742-3345. Real quick, Andre Berto is known to hit hard. What did his, his hits feel like when he was he was cracking you too? So what did his hits feel like? Um, you know, I didn't feel until after after the fight. Next day, you start feeling everything. Uh, your adrenaline is just going so much, um, man. You don't feel anything. You just, mm. I I think it's the determination I have to just get out there and just get it. Uh huh. So um, you know, every time it would hit me, it'd just be like I just my head will fly and come right back. Okay, real quick, let me ask you this, because um, that was an insane answer right there. He didn't feel it till after, because we can next hear day. it, you know, <laughs> next yeah. day, you he know. Said next day. Floyd, Floyd has a mandatory testing, like he wants people to get their blood tested, you know, uh, periodically, right? You agreed to do that? Oh, definitely. Okay. Definitely, I agreed to do it. Nothing to hide. So you clean. He's clean. Give him a round of applause, yeah. because <laughs> a lot of boxers have been found dirty. Um, do you think that's unreasonable for him to ask of his opponents? No, no, not at all. I mean, you know, there, there's a lot of guys that are out there. I mean, you know, especially being Floyd, who he is, mm -hmm. how good he is, you know, what he does in the ring. You know, some people, they'll, they'll resort to desperate measures. They'll do stuff like that. So, you know, I, I think it's a, you know, it's right. G give your honest opinion. Um, I know they had a lot of problems with Pacquiao and Floyd making their fight happen. And the testing had a lot to do with it. Then it was the money and the percentages. And a lot of people have accused Pacquiao of juicing. Do you think that's true? I don't know, man. He came from a lightweight all the way up to Walter weight, and is just smashing through guys. So, uh, you know, I, I, you know, I never really seen him take any strict drug tests or anything. Uh, you know, he's fought in states where it's not really, uh, it's not really pushed or, or you know, you have to do. So, um, you know, who knows, man? Only he knows. Pacquiao got knocked out um, last time by. Um Marquez. Um, Marquez. Well, Marquez. Marquez. Yeah. Marquez came into that ring. He was cut up in the ways that we've never seen him before. Yeah, he was yoked. He, he was yoked, and he's never been able to hurt Pacquiao mm -hmm. like he hurt him um, in that fight. Do you think he might have juiced? Um, man, who knows, man? I know if they both. Man, were, you know, I, Rob, you, I mean, you've been fighting for years. <laughs> Say the truth, you man. Know, well, you know, he's the one thing with Marquez. He's thirty-eight, is, dog. Yeah, the one thing wow. with Marquez is, I mean, Marquez always did it old school. Yeah, he's always did the old school methods. You know, just train, get hard. You know, do push-ups. But he hired a strength and conditioning coach now, which. You know, that makes a big difference, man. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, working your body out, working out stuff you never worked before, man, just upped his game a little bit. And I think that's what he needed to actually put Mar uh, put Pacquiao out. Mm -hmm. Well, that strength and conditioning coach had a tainted pass, as you know, Robert. Yeah. You know, who's yeah. Been, he's been, you know, he's been found out that he had a, <laughs> a lot of his, his athletes have been dirty in the past. Yeah, 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 that's, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. right. <laughs> yeah, okay. We got uh, Daddy G on the line. I don't, put, I don't mean to put you in the hot seat. You got enough on your hands having to fight <laughs> Floyd. <laughs> Daddy G, go ahead. You're in Cleveland. What's your question? Oh, no, I said Daddy Dread, though. Okay, what's your okay. question? Oh, my question is, first I want to say good luck. You know what I'm saying? We're trying to trying to beat Floyd, though, first of all. But I just want to know what makes you think you could beat him if ain't nobody else beating him, though? What makes you different, though? It's his time, man. Styles make fights. I got the style to do it. Um mm. 
you know, they want to be the champ. You know what I'm saying? That's like a lot of work. I just want to say good luck to you. You know what I'm saying? Clean Thank you. That. Everybody has said they got got to style. I remember Hatton thought he was going to beat him up. <laughs> yeah. And Ricky, Ricky Hatton, Hatton at the end of the fight was like, well, he's a lot stronger than I thought. I mean, what makes you think your style is going to work? You know, I'm a southpaw. Um, you know, I can fight on the inside, outside. I mean, you see me fight on the inside. Yeah. You see me fight on the outside. A lot of guys that Floyd's fought before, you know, they either can fight on the inside or they can fight on the outside. Mm-hmm. And that's it. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I'm able to change it up. And, and the one thing a lot of these guys is uh, mentally, they break down quick. Yeah. And that's what Floyd's good at. I faced off with Floyd, um, you know, a couple of weeks back. And, um, man, he was just trying to tear me down, just talking all this stuff, just breaking me down. I'd look at him. I go, and I see right past that. Mm-hmm. And, um, I can see how these guys break down because, I mean, you got to be mentally strong to get in there with Floyd Mayweather. Yeah. You got to be able to just block all that out. And a lot of these guys, they can't. They can't a lot of these guys, they just get, they get, they get mad or, you know, they either get scared. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, it works both ways for Floyd where when they get in the ring, he just takes right advantage of them. You know, Jay, you're in Miami. You, uh, what, what did you want to ask Rob, Roberto? Yeah, you know what? I saw the way in, man. I saw the way into the fight, and it, it kind of—he he looked like he took your heart a little bit. Um, <laughs> that was my—that was my first comment, man. And, and second of all, you as a brawler, you know, Floyd Mayweather. To a brawler, the worst person to come in is a counterpuncher. And you know, um, Mayweather is a great counterpuncher, man. How you plan to stop the counterpunching? I know you work fight inside outside. But that alone can't stop him, man. He's a, he's a very – and you got to respect the gangster, too. you got to come in with him humble, but at, at the same time know that you can beat him without even saying it. You know what I mean? That, that's kind of going to be one of your biggest assets. You know, it's uh, – you know, the one thing with the, with the counterpuncher is, uh, you know, when you get a volume puncher in front of him, I mean, if you see some of my fights, I mean, I throw 1,000-plus punches. Yeah, yeah. That's what kills a counterpuncher is mm-hmm. a guy that's punching. Mm-hmm. If you throw one or two punches, the one one thing, like I said, is Floyd, he knows how to freeze guys up. Yeah. They go in there mentally scared already or not. They're just pissed where they just want to rip his head off. And that's where he takes advantage of them. You got to be patient with that guy. You got to be smart in the ring and you got to use everything that you have. You know, you got to be able to change gears. And that's what Floyd does. It's Sway in the morning. Only on Shea 45.